Attention, old people. The 2016 pres presidential campaign will not be televised. It will be Snapchatted by Snapped. millennials. By millennials, at least. Maybe some okay. of the rest of us. Veteran CNN political reporter Peter Hamby, now the Snapchat news director, just launched a new political show called Good Luck, America. <laughs> you can find it <laughs> under the Snapchat Discovery Channel. Uh, this is really interesting. Peter Hamby covered the 20, 2008, 2008 and 2012 presidential races for CNN. He also wrote a paper for the Shorenstein Center for Harvard University called Did Twitter Kill the Boys on the Bus? Those were those boys that traveled around with political campaigns. Uh, and now he's, you know, he was searching for a better way to cover the campaign. Uh, the paper that he wrote criticizes, quote, journalistic, the journalistic reward structure in Washington that often prizes speed and scoops over context. I found this really interesting. Uh, I am a Snapchat user, not a regular Snapchat user. I only follow my 12-year-old daughter on Snapchat and no one else. But I went to the Discovery tab. I downloaded and watched some of this. It's really interesting. Uh, have you seen any of this, Christina? I have, and I think that he's doing a really good job. And it's a really smart way of them to kind of bring the election in. They've also been doing some things in the Bernie Sanders campaign, I think has some special filters. They're doing some interesting things around the election. I guess my question would be, and and I don't know how I, I I presume his answer would say oh we're we're not going to be you know like uh, usurping the political process um, but I would wonder like where this kind of will will cross the line where it goes from being kind of commentary and, and having real reporters doing reporting on the campaign and when it just becomes like the campaigns themselves creating content for these these networks because that would be my my fear with this is that you know you you would. You, if you only follow the candidates um, themselves or or if the content starts to become the narrative structured around uh, more, uh, you know, what I'm trying to say, um, less about reporting stories the way that things have traditionally happened and more kind of, well, let's create these viral moments, you know, like like mm -hmm. like uh, what, what, what uh, the International Journal is doing, you know, to... to um, get people engaged. I guess I, I, I get concerned about that. I, I wonder if the process becomes lost in that, if we're just trying to make viral videos and, and, and fun Snapchats. Well, when it comes from the campaign, totally. But I think this is coming from someone with a, you know, CNN background. So it's you know, sure. probably as biased as CNN is, you know, depending on right. how you feel but about it, that. It, my point is, is, I guess, I wonder like what they're, how much, how, I'm, I'm losing my, my train of thought here. I guess I'm wondering like wh what they're going to, feel compelled to do to, to keep the audience engaged because a lot of this can be really dry and i guess that'll mm. be the real challenge to see how they can they can bring this to a new audience in this way without you know going to the place where let's just have fun with the candidates where you're not necessarily covering really important issues i think what they're doing so far is really good i just i'm that's always in the back of my mind when when these sorts of technologies are used these ways is is it going to become usurped by the marketing teams and by the by the campaigns themselves Got it. Uh, i think they're trying to reach a younger generation that doesn't care and in a different way then uh, you might be reached on Twitter just just by like uh, recording some gaffe that someone had or some you know ridiculous tweet or you know anything that one of the candidates might say that uh, is offensive or ridiculous. Just seeing that is the the entertaining part. I think that yeah. um, you know he, being a traditional journalist, he sees how important. And basically, you know, if you watch it, he's just like, this is about to get weird. You know, yep. <laughs> and, yep. welcome to 2016. And, yeah, and it's, it's so it's <laughs> I I mean. Yeah, I I think it's it's hard to reach children, and I think I mean anyone who has talked to a teen or a tween knows that they know who Donald Trump is, and they you know they read the same sort of crazy things uh, that that we read, and and the way that's presented. So it's 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 interesting to me if if the younger generation will who does use Snapchat will actually see this and learn something more than just what you know the crazy tweets that we see and things like. Right. Well, and, and even further than that, actual direct engagement with it. You know, it's one thing to kind of see it on, on TV or read about right. it on the, on the Internet. It's another thing to, like, reach reach the younger the younger generation that are using Snapchat regularly and consistently uh, in, that, in that fashion and have it not come across as shilly or something right. that's going to turn them off like are, are, are they going to be effective in doing that now the white house is also on snapchat by the no, way so this is yeah. the next frontier uh, no. you know for reaching the kids no.
No, and I think you're right. I think that's a great point. I mean, the you, we would hope that this could kind of do what what MTV News was doing, I guess, during right. like the '92 election, right? Yeah. Um, and 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 how they kind of really brought the political conversation to, to the youth audience for the first time. And and Snapchat is is the ideal platform to do that. And I think that they were really smart to hire him to to be doing this sort of coverage for sure. Yeah, I mean, he explains the Iowa caucuses, which I needed also a refresher course on that. Uh, yeah, so I think it'll be interesting. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It just launched today. Is, so is it going to get you using Snapchat more than yes. just to talk to your daughter? Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> it is.